published, 832 EDT, the 16th of April 2018, updated, 244 EDT, the 17th of April 2018 a doctor has revealed she saw Aunt McPartlin's lying motionless in his mini after a smash that left her nine-year-old son screaming, I'm dying, mummy. Dr. Ordering was driving the BMW that the TV star plowed into while twice the legal alcohol limit. He also hit another mini and a four-year-old girl who was in it needed hospital treatment. Her son, who was in the back seat, later told her the mini came round the corner like a rocket, the court heard. The Britain's Got Talent star, who earns £130,000 a week said he was ashamed and mortified as he was fined a record £86,000 for drink driving on Monday. It is thought to be the highest fine ever handed out by a British court for drink driving, topping the £54,000 fine given to footballer Yaya Toure in 2016 for the same offence. As he left court this afternoon, the 42-year-old told reporters, I let myself down, I let a lot of people down and for that I'm truly sorry. Dr. Ung, a dementia specialist, said she was so shaken up by the crash that she hasn't returned to work, the Sun reports. In a victim impact statement, she said, I immediately looked over and my son was saying I'm dying mummy, I'm dying, although he was physically fine. He was clearly in shock. As there was no movement from the driver of the black mini I thought he might have died. Dr. Ordering, pictured with her son was driving the BMW that the TV star plowed into while twice the legal alcohol limit. Her son, who was in the back seat, later told her the mini came round the corner like a rocket. The court heard TV presenter Ant McPartland said he has let himself and his family down and is truly sorry for smashing into two family cars while twice the legal alcohol limit. He was banned from the road and fined £86,000 after he admitted drink driving today. A court sketch of Ant behind the glass fronted Docker Twimbledon Magistrates Court. He spoke only to confirm his details and plead guilty to drink driving. His lawyer told the court he was struggling with alcohol and emotional issues at the time Ant was shielded by police as he made his way back past cameras following his court appearance this afternoon the IMA. Celebrity host gave a brief statement outside court, saying he was truly sorry to those caught up in the crash. His £86,000 fine is thought to be the biggest ever handed out for drink driving. His lawyer said he'd pay it in two to five days. Twitter users took to the platform to offer their support and encouragement to Vant during his recovery. She added that then McPartlin exited the vehicle, and she could see the car's airbags had deployed. I'm horrified that someone could drive so dangerously, she said. As a result of the collision I have not been able to return to work. It has greatly affected my private and work life. McPartlin was driving his mother through West London when he lost control of his black mini and smashed into two family cars, a mini and a BMW, while twice the legal alcohol limit last month. Speaking outside court after the hearing, Ant said, I just want to say that I'm truly sorry. Higher standards are expected of me, I expect them of myself. I let myself down, I let a lot of people down, and for that I am truly sorry. I would like to apologize to everybody involved in the crash, and I am just thankful that nobody was seriously hurt in this. McPartlin was also banned from the road for one year and eight months but could be back behind the wheel in 15 months if he takes a drink drive us awareness course. District Judge Barbara Barnes told McPartlin, you were struggling with personal problems and issues with alcohol and that had been going on for some months. Your level of driving was unacceptable that day. You recognize you have let down so many people, your friends, family and colleagues. Asked how long it would take to pay the massive £86,000 fine. McPartlin's barrister said, two to five days apostrophe. Ant's lawyer Liam Walker had told the court, Anthony McPartlin is sorry and is doing everything he can to ensure this never happens again. He hopes that in time he can make himself better and that he might be forgiven by all of the many people he knows and he feels he has let down terribly. The court heard Ant's mother, Christine Woodall, was in the car with him at the time. 
He had been seeking help for alcohol and emotional issues at the time, but was in the midst of a brief relapse, which his mother did not know about. The star wore a black tie as he arrived with a serious look on his face ahead of the hearing seven uniformed police officers were at the door of the court to shield the star from cameras as he arrived this afternoon TV presenter McPartland pleaded guilty to drink driving at Wimbledon Magistrates Court. Following a crash last month the court heard his mother was in the car with him at the time and did not know he was in the middle of an alcohol relapse friends have said the star wanted to deal with the case as quickly as possible and return to his recovery in rehab for those convicted of drink driving. The actual penalty is determined by the magistrate who hears the case. The sentence can vary depending on the severity of the offence, being in charge of a vehicle while above the legal limit or unfit through drink three months imprisonment up to £2,500 fine possible driving ban driving or attempting to drive while above the legal limit or unfit through drink six months imprisonment in unlimited fine a driving ban for at least one year three years if convicted twice in ten years refusing to provide a specimen of breath, blood or urine for analysis six months imprisonment in unlimited fine a ban from driving for at least one year causing death by careless driving when under the influence of drink 14 years imprisonment and unlimited finia ban from driving for at least two years an extended driving test before your license is returned source Good.UK Ant's lawyer also spoke of McPartland's exemplary character and charitable work, especially focusing on organizations that help children. He added, Mr. McPartland is lucky to have both family and longtime friends to support him. In a statement read by his barrister, Ant said, I appreciate people in the public I should provide a positive example, no the consequences, of the crash, could have been much worse. McPartlin was driving around a sharp bend and lost control at which point he ended up on the wrong side of the road, the court heard. He collided with another Mini Cooper before driving straight into the front of an oncoming BMW. The driver of a BMW hit said McPartlin's car came round the corner like a rocket apostrophe. For him, Venu, there, driver of the Mini, said afterwards that he and his family thought they would die in the collision. He said, in a statement read by prosecutor Ms. Sinnott Jones, myself and my family were in deep shock as we believed we could have died as as a result of Mr. McPartlin's reckless driving. McPartlin's vehicle came to a halt and was no longer drivable due to the damage caused she said. Members of the public called the police. In a statement to police, McPartlin had said, I am very sorry I did this, I am ashamed and mortified that this happened. I accept full culpability for this and wish to apologize to all those concerned. Seven police officers had shielded the star from photographers and television cameras when he arrived at Wimbledon Magistrates Court this lunchtime. He stepped out of a black Mercedes people carrier and walked up the steps at the main entrance to the court building in southwest London. The charge states McPartlin had 75 micrograms of alcohol in 100 milliliters of breath. Ye legal limit is 35 micrograms per 100 milliliters of breath. McPartlin has pulled out of all work commitments since the crash and his presenting partner Declan Donnelly is hosting Britain's Got Talent shows alone. The star said he was thankful nobody was seriously hurt following the crash which led to a four-year-old girl going to hospital and a nine-year-old boy in another car telling his mother he thought he was dying his lawyer told the court he was ashamed and mortified about what he had done, and took full responsibility the I'm a celebrity host was escorted from his car by police, who held back photographers the court heard he was more than twice the legal alcohol limit when his mini ploughed into two other cars in West London a nine-year-old boy in a BMW smashed into by Ant McPartland thought he was dying in the moments after the smash, the court heard today. A Dr. Ung who was driving the BMW which McPartland's mini ploughed into when the TV host was drink driving. A statement by the prosecutor today, Dr. Ung said her son was in shock and McPartland's car deployed three airbags. She told the court, 
the black mini came in the opposite direction far too fast round the bent dot after colliding with he mini the car already had a broken left front side had already dropped down and was scraping in the ground as it collided head on with my vehicle dot I immediately looked over and my son was saying I'm dying mummy, I'm dying, although he was physically fine. He was clearly in shock. As there was no movement from the driver of the black mini, I thought he might have died. The driver of the black mini exited the vehicle. I could see he airbags had deployed. It has been distressing for myself and son, both have been in shock. As a result of the collision, I have not been able to return to work. It had greatly affected my private and work life. Ant's black mini collided head-on with the BMW of a doctor who had her nine-year-old son as a passenger. The court heard Ant's mother, Christine Woodall, was in the car at the time he crashed. She was unaware he had relapsed, the court heard. The pair are pictured together after Ant received an OBE in 2017. Friends had previously said he wanted to plead guilty at the first opportunity so that he could put the legal proceedings behind him and move on with his rehab. The TV star was charged following a car crash in Richmond which left a four-year-old girl in hospital on March 18. Restaurant owner Fahim Venu and his wife Shil Padandakar were traveling with their daughter Amara when their green mini was involved in a head-on collision with another mini driven by the presenter. Amara was taken to West Middlesex Hospital in Isleworth by her parents for a checkup and was not kept in overnight for any treatment. A car crash was caught live on television as a BBC crew reported from outside Ant McPartlin's court hearing into his drink-drive collision, as reporter Alison Freeman carries out a broadcast from Wimbledon Magistrates Court, a three-vehicle prang occurs behind her, causing two loud bangs. The driver of a blue Nissan, thought to be distracted by the crowds outside the courts, slams into the back of a Peugeot, which in turn smashes into a van in front. Miss Freeman quickly spins round before apologizing to those watching for the interruption, as a car with a severely damaged bonnet continues along the road. She then tells viewers, sorry, but as you can tell with the media outside it has been very busy out here. BBC News reporter Alison Freeman was broadcasting from outside Wimbledon Magistrates Court when a crash happened behind her a blue Toyota hit the back of black 4x4, which collided with a white van as the media assembled outside the courtroom the Saturday night takeaway host arrived with a large entourage including bodyguards McPartlin was driven to the court appearance in a black minivan after the crash last month there was a large number of TV crews and photographers awaiting the TV star this morning speaking in the days after the crash, victim Mr. Venu said, his mini came flying around a sharp corner on the wrong side of the road trying to overtake a blue car. I hardly had time to react and turned in towards the curb to avoid a head-on collision. I'm convinced that split-second turn of the wheel saved us all from being crippled or killed. I reckon he was doing 50 or 60 miles per hour he added. The horn of his car was blaring and my little girl was crying in shock. It was a terrible, chaotic scene. The whole experience has just been a nightmare, Fahim told Mail Online shortly after the crash. It is not something that we ever expected, but we are just grateful that no one was hurt. It has been a terrible experience and it feels like we are coming out of a nightmare. It has left us all a bit shaken up. McPartlin spent almost 10 hours in police custody following a collision between his Mini and two other cars after he took his dog for a walk in Richmond Park. The TV star, 42, was charged with drink driving in last month following a car crash in southwest London, pictured. Photos from the scene show Ant's car covered a blue sheeting, and the red BMW and green Mini hit hit at the side of the road Fahim Venu and Shil Padandakar and their family were in the other car in the crash. 